Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Pineapple and today I am building a traditional Japanese home. Um, if you're interested in this build, you can download it off of the gallery. My origin ID is PineappleYT. Woo! So it's been a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't post last week, so I guess that makes it like a little over over two weeks, technically. Because that's, that, that's how time works, yes, moving on. But yeah, I just... Ooh, got a little tired <laughs> and I've just been streaming so much um, and in good good news I quit my job <laughs> um, to become a full-time streamer no I did not do that uh, not for that reason at least um, but I did quit my job because I have grad school coming up and so I wanted to take a bit of a break before that starts up because it's a long program it's a long very difficult program. So I figured I'd become a full-time streamer in the meantime. Um, but no. Um, so I, what I did actually figure though is that I could um, take a week off of YouTube, especially because I'm going to be having a lot more time to do it because it is pretty time consuming. Um, for example, I, <laughs> it's just, I built this house while I was streaming and then it's just such a pain to go back and edit out all the pauses because there are more than when you just build it regularly but I think it was worth it um I still am really bad at remembering to start recording Ugh, like I've gotten a bit better like usually I only get a, a couple things in but I'm just like mm, mm. so I'm really working on that but back to the build really cute. I love, love how it turned out. I love the shape of it. I love the roofing. The roofing was a little bit of a pain, especially when I get to the main larger part, just because I was kind of uncertain as how to do it. <laughs> um, but I really like, um, kind of like the hallways almost, like the walkways. Um, I've seen that kind of in a lot of Japanese builds where you kind of have like, you know, those long like stretches of hallways that kind of surround like the living spaces and then you can open up the um the paper doors which have a name and I'm forgetting it right now because I'm terrible and so I apologize but here you can see I cut out a little bit of the roofing struggle because this is basically what I ended up with anyways I just like fiddled with it for like no reason well I kind of wanted it to be more squarish or something but I I did like how it ended up in the end and I added um a whole bunch of those kind of like their wall sticky outy things they're supposed to look like they hold up like stuff in the sims 4 I don't know what they're called but I added them to the roofing to look like the little um roof su out support I don't know what I'm saying I don't even know what I'm saying. I also, I'm so sad, I, this footage didn't get recorded, but I built a little well and I added those to the well as well. So I made the, I turned the well from looking into something very European to making it look Japanese. That's the thing I was talking about, except for I put them not on the, I put them on the roof. Good Lord. Ooh, let's just take a deep breath. Woo, okay. Oh, okay, we're doing good, but that's my that's my biggest news is that I am like not gonna be doing my job anymore because like I said, like I put in my two weeks notice like the day before I released my last YouTube video, but like I didn't talk about it in that YouTube video. <laughs> um, so yeah, 
but I'm I'm excited. It's a, it's a it's a happy thing for me. I'm very fortunate in that I can take this time off. Like this will be the only time in my life where I won't have like really any responsibilities. Like I'm not going to have a job. I'm not I don't have kids. I don't have pets. Like there will probably never be a time in my life that will be more free than this time period. And so I will spend it on the internet. <laughs> Um, I will be visiting family in Pennsylvania for a little bit at one point, but I almost kind of like, so like, you know, especially I'm looking at this build, I'm almost kind of like, maybe I should travel somewhere, but traveling is very expensive. And I also kind of figure that I will have more opportunities to travel in the future. Like, and I don't want to do like a super long trip. And that would really be the only benefit of doing it right now is like super long trip, but I can like travel in the future. Maybe that's not the best like logic, but I <laughs> I kind of do want to save money and also like I have done a fair amount of traveling like I have actually been to Japan um we had a Japanese exchange student and so we went to go visit her and so I have a couple of um stories from that visit but here I'm adding this roof decal thingy or roof decal uh, like I don't know what to even call it but like it's a little like ornamental decoration and I love love, love how it turned out. At first, I was a little nervous about it, but especially when I added it to more of the roof pieces or, like, the roofing, I think it really turned out cool, and I think it adds, like, a cute little, like, detail to it, and it's not quite, I think, what that would actually look like, but it's as close as I can get to it in-game. It's this whole, this whole build is basically me trying to turn what is kind of traditional, like, Western architecture and make it look like traditional Japanese architecture, which let me tell you was even more difficult when we got to the interior. Good Lord. Uh, uh, but I, I end up, I kind of put up the floor plan here, but then I end up going back to the outside, which is my favorite part of this build. The landscaping, I'm just, oh, yum. Thank you. Pineapple. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I do I do really like my own landscaping, so I I enjoyed it. Um but yeah, so Japan story. Um I got to do so well, okay, first of all, it was really cool because our exchange student basically acted like a tour guide and so like she went with us everywhere on our trip. And she, like, basically translated everything for us, like, and the one time that, like, she, she wasn't with us, she, she actually, I, I'm vegetarian, I was more vegetarian back then, I mean, I'm, I'm I try to be vegetarian now, but I'm just, I don't even, I can't even, I want to be vegetarian, but I'm not, basically, but at the time, I was very much so vegetarian, and so she wrote out this little, like, card explaining what I can and can't eat, and then I'd, like, hand it to the server, and they'd read it, and then they'd hand it back to me, and it basically said something like, well, she can eat fish, she's a pes she, she's a pescatarian, she can eat fish, so she's not completely screwed, just don't give her, like, chicken or, or beef or pork or anything, um, <laughs> uh, I have an uncle who, um, went to Japan for work, um, and he was in the military, and they actually gave him a card, like, a literal business card that, in Japanese, and it, it, on the other side, it said in English, too, it says, I am lost, please help me return to this address, and, like, he was instructed to just hand it to people if he got lost, and I'm just like, what are you, a five-year-old? But anyway, <laughs> I, I mean, I can't really critique him that much because I basically had like a little card to hand to people to be like, help me. I don't speak Japanese. Oh, goodness. But anyways, so that was really cool that she could like kind of show us around and like um, her family kind of knew different places we could go. And it was just a lot of fun. Um, here I am starting like a little Zen rock garden, which is so cute and I love it so much. Um, I, I am... I'm like gesticulating, you can't see it, but like I have my arms super close to me and it's it's really weird. But anyways. Anyways, so that was fun. Another really cool thing is I got to go to a traditional onsen, which is like a bathhouse, um, slash like inn type thing, and oh my gosh. Like to this day I have like, her parents paid for some of the stuff, and it was sort of, like, their thank you for us paying for stuff that we did with the exchange student. 
But like to this day, I have no idea how much staying in that onsen cost. And I don't want to know, but I'm just forever thankful that it happened to me because that was a really fancy place. It was super traditional. It was just so luxurious. I don't even know. I was completely spoiled that day. And oh, oh my gosh, it was just so amazing. And like there was also like a five course like meal involved with it and oh my gosh my parents tried to pay back my the exchange students parents that's not how that works in in Japanese culture though you don't really do that type of thing <laughs> you have to be really sneaky with the way that you kind of like reciprocate like gifts and whatnot like I had a friend who once did a really good sneaky gift where somebody loaned him their bus pass and he like filled it up. He like topped it off with the money as he gave it back. So there was like no way to return the money, but they just had to use it. And so it was anyway, <laughs> anyways, but like, so it was so nice. Here's the other garden. Um, this one isn't like a, a Zen garden, like it's not a sand garden, but I do love like little like winding pathways inside the, like the drop down area. And it's just, I love it. It's so cute. I'm very excited about this build. Okay, guys, I'm very excited. Um, I'm also excited to share all these Japan stories because this happened a few years ago, but it was such an amazing, like, it was so amazing. It, I, it was supposed to happen when I was in high school, when I was like a senior in high school and I was going to be taking two weeks we were going to do a two-week trip but unfortunately for more for more reasons than just my trip got messed up uh the tsunami the really big tsunami and earthquake hit in Japan so like I say unfortunately my trip got ruined but I don't really care about that what's more important is what like happened to the people who actually live there but it was the I felt really more bad for some of my my friends because they had planned like the Japan like the Japanese club had planned a trip and so that was like their one opportunity to go and they like missed out I got to go the next year but yeah so but it was only for one week so it would it might have been a longer trip but oh well um but like the other highlight of that trip was I got to go to the Ghibli Museum. And if you've been on my channel for like a hot second, you know that I like Ghibli a lot. And it was so cool. They, in the in the Ghibli Museum, and like the Ghibli Museum is like really off the beaten track too. Like you have to take like a series of like buses to get to it. And like you have to reserve your tickets in advance. And it's like, it's not a super easy thing to get to, especially if you don't speak Japanese, which is part of why it was so cool that we had our exchange student helping us out. But like, it was such a cool place. There was one of those giant statues of like the little, the, like the robots from, um, like the robot golems from Castle in the Sky. There was a life-size cat bus that was like decorated in fur. The only downside was it was basically like wood covered with fur and there was like no padding. So it wasn't as like plush, you know, but like it was giant and like they had like a ball pit, but instead of like, like the little like rubber balls, they just had tons of like, um, of the soot sprites, I think it was. I think I'm remembering that correctly. I didn't go in it because I was, there were actual children in there and I am not an actual child. And I was not an actual child at the time. Um, if there had been no one else there, I would have like bathed. I would have just been like gloriously like swimming in the dust sprites. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how I can, be, how I get so like weird and random, but I do. I do. Um, it was such a, oh, it was such, I will always remember that trip with such fondness. And like we went to, um, I think it's Harajuku, the, like the street with the really high fashion. And we also went to this one other area that's really like famous for like gaming stuff. Um, and my brother really liked that one. But it was just the only, like, there was only one downside on that trip for me, which had nothing to do with anything but me, is that I got a migraine. And so I ended up missing out on the Kabuki Theater. I was so sad. And, like, it was kind of funny because the other day, like, my parents and my brother were talking about how cool the Kabuki Theater was. And I was like, when did you guys go see Kabuki Theater? 
And they were like, when we were in Japan. And I was like, I didn't see that. And they were like, well, of course you saw it. You were you went on the trip with us. And then I remembered, no, I was busy having a migraine in a hotel room. Yippee. So much fun. <laughs> much fun. Oh, I'm so sorry for this pause that I left in here. Whoopsie. Um, and then I ended up accidentally miss. I'm so, I'm still kicking myself for accidentally missing making that like little fountain area because it was so cute and I really liked it. And that's the extent of that story. But yeah, I'm like, try, I think that's, I think that's also the extent of like my Japanese stories. Um, basically, basically it was a blast and I'm very thankful honestly, like super thankful. And it's again, part of why I'm not like when I was 15, I was an exchange student in Hungary. And so I had the opportunity to take two different like bus tour trips. And so I went to some really cool places. Like I went to Poland, I went to um, the Czech Republic, I went to um, Belgium, France, England, and no, I didn't say hi to any of my YouTube friends because I didn't know them. That would have been really weird. <laughs> just just hunting down random people from the future. We will be YouTube friends one day. Wait, you don't quite know what YouTube is yet? <laughs> I feel like they probably would have at the time. But anyways, so like I did, like it was like kind of rushed. Like we only ever spent one or two days in those like countries. But like, you know, I still got kind of a feel for it, you know. Not really. I mostly I just was laughing when I was in Belgium because I was eating French fries and um, chocolate. <laughs> that was like the extent of the trip. I was like, I'm eating Belgium chocolates in Belgium. And admittedly, I was 15, so little appreciation. But I do kind of feel like maybe when maybe I don't I don't know I don't know what I feel. But I love this. I love how this kitchen turned out. I think it was when I was building this kitchen when I got my first subscriber on Twitch. And I, if you if you've never been to if like I am like oh okay. uh, 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 <laughs> good lord, Twitch has this thing where you can clip the stream while it's happening. So if you want to go check out my Twitch channel, you can see me freaking out over my first subscriber. Like I almost cried. I like slunk down in my seat and I was like, don't mind me. Don't mind me. And <laughs> it was really funny. And I have a lot of really fun clips on my, on my channel. And I highly recommend you go check them out, especially if you feel like you can't make a stream or commit to a stream or anything like that. Um, or if you just want to stay on the YouTube channel, that's cool. That's why I'm here now, still trying to keep that going. I'm really, one a week at least. I'm also hoping to do a build tutorial, um, a, a roofing tutorial. But I'm actually, I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a stream first where I have people send me um, either houses with roofing they want me to fix or housings without roofing that they want me to do to show them how I would do it. Especially cause like, I feel like doing that first would like help me kind of organize how I approach roofing. Cause I kind of just like go for it. I kind of just like hop right in and just like start doing stuff and I'm gesticulating and you can't see and I miss my webcam. <laughs> I, Twitch is really fun because <laughs> then you can see me and I, I mean I could turn on my webcam right now but I'm literally like in my pajamas and so I would have had to have gotten dressed and YouTube is already so much work as it is I don't want to get dressed for you guys okay <laughs> oh my gosh take deep breaths calm down um don't the kitchen is cute. I don't really know what else to say about that, except for I like how it turned out. Oh, I know. I did this whole thing with like making, trying to make tatami mats, which is, this is how I used to do it. Um, I did this when I did the Totoro house way back when, but I actually, the rug that we got in, um, laundry day works so much better. And so I end up going back and replacing the rug that's underneath this really low lying table. I'm sorry about this pause. Good Lord, Penelope, what were you even doing when you edited this? I can tell you what I was watching somebody on Twitch. I'm addicted. Anyways, um, I end up uh, replacing that like low, low table with a square coffee table that we also got in laundry day, I think. Or maybe we got it I think we got it in laundry day. 
Or maybe we got it in Jungle Adventure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm mixing stuff up now, but I bef I just kind of automatically assumed that I wouldn't have a good table for this because when I first, like, the last time I did, like, a traditional Japanese home, the Totoro house, like, there was packs ago, packs and packs, and we didn't have anything like square coffee tables. That was unheard of. It was rectangular or no-go. So I forgot that we had low-to-the-ground square tables. Um, so I ended up adding that back in, and it looks a lot better, I think. Um, but here I'm working on the master bedroom. This house ended up having three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Um, but I feel like I was going to say something, and then I forgot. So instead of saying whatever I was going to say, I'll just tell my exercise story. I Oh, my gosh, Penelope my well my screen capture was weird you could actually see okay i don't know what's happening let's just move on here's the part where i put on a pug mask and scared gavin sims also a clip you can go check that out but anyways so you get an exercise story i haven't been back to yoga um i i've been saying that i'm just waiting until I'm off of work to go back, and I think I will. I definitely will, like, hop back into it. But I have to admit, I have been rather embarrassed. Here's the tatami mat I was talking about. I have been a little embarrassed since that time, and I don't think I'm going to be going back to the advanced class. I think I might kind of work my way back up to that and instead of going to, like, or not advanced, I guess I'm inter intermediate. It's like they have two levels, level one and two, and I thought I was level two, but I think I might go to their level one and two class because that way if I'm doing level one stuff, I don't feel as... Uh, as awkward, but I will get back into it. I just, avoiding it a little. If you don't know why, check out last week, or two week ago video. Um, my last video though. But anyways, the actual story I wanted to tell you was, I wanted to share with you <laughs> my, like, shameful, like, jog pleasure song. Like, <laughs> I, this, I, when I jog, I have different music that I really jam out to, but there's one that I'm just like, why are you jamming out to this? This artist that I would never listen to other otherwise, but it's Macklemore. <laughs> I just rock out so hardcore to Macklemore. And if you like Macklemore, that's totally fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Just for some reason for me, I find it to be like a guilty pleasure. I don't know why. Um... But the song that really I really like is it's like the glorious song because like the per the chorus is like I feel glorious. Don't sing, don't actually sing. But basically it says I feel glorious, and in that moment I'm like yes, I do feel glorious. I'm jogging. Look at me go. I'm so glorious, and like I can almost convince myself that I'm not <laughs> dying. <laughs> and so that's why I really like that song mostly. Um, yeah. Mm hmm. So that was the extent of that story because I haven't really been like other, I haven't been up to anything. I know, like I've been gone for like two weeks and I didn't do a single thing in that time except for stream apparently. But I'm very excited for my new schedule. I'm excited. I will be doing more yoga. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I just need to like organize stuff. But yeah, the jogging is, has gotten intense. <laughs> Like, I go for, like, an hour, and I go for, like, six kilometers. Like, what am I doing? I don't know. Like, yesterday, I went for four kilometers, and I was like, wow, this is such a low-key run. <laughs> Just, like, when you started out, you got less than a mile, and you were so excited, which is awesome. But I was just like... I'm now, like, when I jog, I get to this, like, certain, like, running points, and I'm like, oh my god, do you remember when you felt like you were literally dying trying to get to this point? Like, do you remember when this used to be a halfway point and not, like, a one-fourth of the way point? Like, it, that's really cool. Like, I've been really pleased with, like, pro I like progress. I'm very competitive, including with myself. Like, I don't think I can really stress how competitive I am, especially because I try not to be a jerk about it, but like in my mind, I'm a jerk about it. <laughs> I am a very competitive person. Like it's a, it's one of my least favorite qualities about myself. Cause like, 
I'm very competitive and like I almost never play like board games or like card games with people because just a really ugly side of me comes out like really really like really bad and like if I'm not like being completely awful when I'm losing I'm being completely terrible when I'm winning because I'll just be like ah, ha, 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 I'm winning and you're not and I'm just like oh my god don't actually do that though that's so like I I'm, I'm terrible sportsmanship and like I also do this thing where if I'm not good at something I don't want to do it like I'm not like you guys know I really dislike bowling. Part of the reason, I'm not going to lie, is because I'm bad at it. And so I don't want to do it. <laughs> Again, a terrible characteristic to have. But, like, there are so many things that I'm good at. I'm, I've been really, like, fortunate in that I am relatively talented. Like, I say that and then I'm like, oh, no, stop being so self-obsessed. But, like, you know, I, I do have – I'm pretty good at, like, hopping into things and, like, doing them and like doing them well like you know sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to learn how to do something but like once I do something it's like I just kind of put like 110 percent in it and like it ends up looking pretty cool it turned out pretty well but um but if I can't if I put 110 percent in it and it doesn't turn out at all then I never want to do it again that was the moral of the story oh my gosh <sighs> I am tired I need to think of more stuff to talk about <laughs> not for this one because like well maybe for this one um I ran through all my talk oh well I had one talking point I'll tell that story later I have a very sad story from my childhood do I have enough time to tell it now not really so I won't okay we'll save that one for next time I'll give you a hint it's about just dance and so the, it's it's a glorious story again that word glorious and so it should be fun <laughs> Oh my gosh. But again, I apologize for missing last week's build. I'll try and be more on top of it now that my work has schedule is completely cleared and I am a full-time streamer YouTube. I'm not a full-time. Stop saying that, Penelope. That's just not, that's, it's a fallacy. But anyways, I hope you guys are all having a really great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!